Hello and welcome to Brookvale Oval for this round 14 Winfield Cup clash between Manly Warringah and St George. When they met in the first round of the 1987 Premiership on the 1st of March at Belmore Sports Ground, they played a four-all draw. And it's worth noting that it is, to date, the one and only draw so far this season. Currently, Manly is sitting on 19 points and George are on 11. Both sides are coming into this match after a break last weekend because of the split round. But in their respective round 13 matches a fortnight ago, St George had a great morale-boosting win over Canterbury-Bankstown. And Manly literally tore the Balmain Tigers apart with an enormous 48 points to 14 killing here at Brookvale. The Manly coach Bob Fulton, a win today, will keep his charges well and truly in the top three. For St George coach Roy Masters, well, he needs a win simply to allow the Saints to have a chance of making the top five. Manly's team lineup today is Williams, Ronson, Shearer, O'Connor, Davis, Lyons, Hasler, Vorton, Cleal, Gibbs, Ward, Cochrane, Daly. The full team rundown for St George is Funnel, Walford, Beatty, Brian Johnston, Johns, Robinson, Kokas, Fraser, Fullerton Smith, Wynn, Young, Billy Johnston, and Noak. Mick Stone is the man in charge centre field for our State Bank big game. Just about ready to get them underway here at Brookvale Oval. Manly to receive the ball. St George kicking off, running from right to left in their white uniform with a red V. Manly ringer with the maroon uh, body and the white stripes. And they're underway. The referee is Mr Mick Stone. Vorton takes the kickoff. He's going to put it back downfield. That's gone slightly midfield, that one. Almost a kick to the open side. Picked up by Funnel. He elects to run. Has... Hasler's there to uh, get him. And they start the action just around about uh, centre field. Chris Johns coming on the burst there, the wing three quarter. Billy Johnson, dummy half, onto Craig Young. Looking for support, gets a pass away to Kokas out there to 13. Billy Noak, who's been uh, turned into a front row forward of late. Up to Fullerton Smith, he takes it up to the Manly Ringer quarter. Johnson moving it out now to Beatty. Beatty's gone straight and hard, been put out just inside the quarter. And there's a little grubber kick being put through. Some of these St George players are offside. Shearer's got it. But uh, he's tackled about five metres out from his line. Vorton a dummy half. No action there. Shearer, dummy half, he's going to try to run from there. He does, and he makes a good inroad too. That's about 15 metres. Manly always had this myth about the fact that they were a bad wet weather side. I think they've improved upon that in the last season or so. They have a, an excellent kicking game through the likes of Cliff Lyons, Paul Vorton, and also Mal Cochran. And this Brookvale Oval in superb condition, regardless of all the weather that we've had over the weekend. Yes, Vorton back to Shearer. Shearer dummies, gets a kick down. It's touched in flight by a... Uh, St George player, fallen on by uh, Ron Gibbs, the Manly second rower. On the crusher clear, that player was offside, number three. Michael Beatty going to be penalised for it. You'll probably see that action again. He came tearing in, watch him. And Miles offside, as were two or three of his St George teammates. And Cliff Lyons to release all the early pressure, but a bad kick. Yes, that came off the side of his foot. It's only made a net gain of about seven metres. Need to do better than that. Wind conditions are minimal, David. South easterly breeze blowing, Rex. Uh, not favouring uh, St George to any great degree in this first half. But the, as Graham mentioned, the ground in superb condition. And we saw in the earlier matches that ball handling wasn't a problem despite the wet weather leading up to this match. Yes, the ground's a picture too. It's a, just a little bit soft. But uh, there's Gibbs going for a jog. Gets through the tackle there of uh, Colin Fraser. And another penalty. And a touch judge in this time. Continuing on with their policy of ensuring that the man in possession always retains the advantage in trying to get up quickly to play the ball. Graham Wynn to be called out now on a touch judge's report. Referee Stone listening to all that's being said. Graham Wynn acting a little bit like a schoolboy there being spoken to by the teacher. Yes, sir. No, sir. 
It's a kick at goal for Cochrane. It's about 11 metres out from the quarter and it's, uh, well, virtually in the middle of the field. It'll be kicking into a breeze that uh, shouldn't affect the issue too much. Now Cochrane. Moves in now. That's a goal, so a manly lead, two points to nil. Back to the halfway comes Funnel. Funnel's been uh, turned into a, a fullback by uh, Roy Masters, and he's done a pretty good job of it. He's a big lump of a lad, he knows how to motor. And that's on the line, is out, so there's another penalty to Manly right on the halfway line. I don't know why, but uh, I always feel that a, a team has got slightly rattled when they do that. There's no need for St George to be rattled at this stage. Now Lyons, let's see if he can get his act together with a line kick. That's a better one, made about uh, 16, 18 metres from the centre of the field. That's not a bad kick at all. Now Cochran to take the tap onto Hasler. Lyons, dummies, gives it to Ward. The Englishman comes straight. On a daily. Pops a pass to Hasler, out there to Cochran. Cochran, a long cut out pass to Lyons. Lyons cuts a pass out to Davis. Davis going up the sideline, going beautifully and tackled just in a touch on the inside the quarter. Continuing his good form from the performance against Balmain a fortnight ago, Clint Lyons, the good long ball out to Stuart Davis, who on only the second tackle certainly would have been a lot wiser to stay away from that touch line. Yes, the sideline should be considered like a precipice. You go close to it, you go over the side. St George in possession from that scrum. Just brought it outside their quarter. <clears throat> and the lower grade results, uh, well, the under 23s are very comfortable win to Manly, 24 to 8. But a bit of an upset in the reserve grade when the St George side won 16 to 6. And St George were well down the ladder. Johnston back to Funnel. Funnel kicks downfield. There are a couple of chases there. Shearer's got it now inside his quarter. Kicks. A funnel face with exactly the same situation. <laughs> Except that he's got the wind at his back and he's got uh, a little bit extra length in the kick. The shear is inside his quarter. There's Hasler has got the ball in his hands from... There's Lyons busted him again. Robinson's been burst wide open. Got a pass into Hasler and Hasler scores. Look at him go. He's broken him wide open and gone in underneath the posts. Lyons is having a picnic with Robinson. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see a change made in the uh, St George lineup there, even if it's only positional. But have a look at the try again. On the State Bank replay, too big and too strong for the second occasion. Foot Lyons... He's forced uh, Steve Robinson down and beat him on the outside. Back on the inside is Des Hasler in superb touch and the man that many people wanted to argue should have been originally in the New South Wales side scores the first try. But again, Steve Robinson should be standing outside his opposite Cliff Lyons and trying to force him back into the cover defence of Colin Fraser in the lock forward position. But he was beaten outside. Des Hasler did the rest. He read it brilliantly back inside. And away he goes to enforce for Manly a very confident start. Yes, a confident start indeed. <clears throat> One feels uh, that you've put your finger right on the uh, button there with this Robinson. Uh, his positional play is at fault. It's not the tackling technique, it's the positional play. And uh, allowing Lyons to get on the outside of him like that and use defend is just not on. Got to be slightly on the outside of him and drive him back in a little bit. Well, Manly six, St George nil, kick it goal to follow, Mal Cochran to take it now. And there it is, so Manly skate along to an eight points to nil lead over St George. 
Well, Funnel's got the ball there on the line. Let's see who he kicks off to. He's gone for a lower trajectory. Crusher Cleal stops it with his leg. And uh, gets stopped in turn by Noak. Cochran, Shearer. Just skates sideways for a yard or two, waiting for the Manly players to settle down onto Daly. He starts a forward run. It's only about a nip gain of a yard. He goes Hasler, Vorton. Vorton's got outside him again. And Williams. Williams goes back on the inside, gets it to Lyons. Lyons to Vorton. Vorton going strong and straight. Is uh, run out of the of. Uh, able to pass to there, O'Connor was in front of him and there's another penalty five minutes in the sin bin for Graham Wynn five minutes in the sin bin for Graham Wynn, see the error well he was warned and cautioned on uh, two occasions uh, for not allowing the man to get to his feet again he makes a meal of it, Graham Wynn and Mick Stone very quick to react and off to the sin bin for Graham Wynn I believe uh, David, that Michael uh, Beatty had a, a blizzard event. That's right, Rex. Uh, his wife Cassie gave birth to their first child, a little boy, yesterday. And Cassie's obviously watching this game tonight in the St George District Hospital. So I'm sure that uh, on behalf of all the St George fans and rugby league fans in general, all the very best to the Beatties with the new addition. Indeed. Cochran moves in. The crowd tell us that it's another goal, so Manly hasten on. Manly 10, St George nil. And we've had just short of 15 minutes play. Scrum to be fed by Hasler, out to Shearer. Lyons goes to dummy half. It's a pass to Williams. Williams has gone upfield. He's uh, skating along on one knee there at the moment. Gets to his feet 10 metres from halfway out to Hasler. Cleal. Cleal's going to elect to run. He's got a long cutout pass out to Davis. Davis goes out, gets it into O'Connor. O'Connor dummy gets it to Vorton. Vorton away to Lyons. Lyons out to Hasler. Hasler out there. A cutout pass out to Ronson. Ronson back inside to Williams. Back inside to Hasler. Hasler back there to Cochran. They're losing ground. Now they've got it out to Shearer. Shearer to Davis. As a pass got out to Cleal. And Cleal's knocked on. <laughs> well, that was a bit of razzle-dazzle football there. We've got a touch touch in at the moment. This hit will be on uh, Cliff Lyons after he passed the ball. Well, Wally Fullerton Smith set himself for the for the shoulder charge. Well, that was uh, great entertaining stuff. Uh, the crowd loved every minute of it. The ball going across the field, back again and halfway across before the crusher put it down. But uh, really astonishing the number of people that handle the football. Shearer's going to take the penalty. And that's useful without being great. And here's Cochran on a daily. Daly tears forward, gets a pass away, it's on to Hasler. Hasler's got a long cutout pass to go to Michael O'Connor, steps back on the inside, gives it to Ward, Ward goes forward. Was tackled, Beatty's there using the knee on him, but uh, suspect it was only in a, in a way of uh, keeping him on the mark. Hasler, Lyons, out to Shearer. Lyons uh, manages to slow the pace of the game down periodically, which he does quite deftly uh, to his own tempo onto Hasler. Hasler back to Vorton. And there's a pass to Gibbs, and Gibbs is knocked on. Well, I think once again, Graham Wynn is the man that might find himself in trouble. We saw him earlier with a knee incident. Again, he's late on the scene, and again, with the set of knees and Michael Stone surely has to take a tough stand the second time we've shown on replay that he's been involved he's certainly no requirement Gibbs had the ball covered after the knock on and a double set of knees in the back yes I'm afraid that that would have been uh, had I been the referee would have earned him five or ten minutes in the sin bin for double knees in the back Shearer's going to kick for touch here on the uh, grandstand side of the field. 
That's a much better kick. And that was obviously the side to kick. Cochrane going to take the tap on a daily. And here they go again. They've been penalised for being inside the 10 yards. So I suggest that it'll probably turn into a kick at goal now. Well, that's three straight penalties to Manley. Paul Wharton first was going to take the option there to keep the pressure on St George and go for another try. He has elected to do so. And I watched Michael Stone in the last penalty. He warned Craig Young and the forwards they were creeping inside his mark. Cochrane will go forward. Give it out to Vaughton on the blind side. He charges for it. Is tackled about four yards out. Shearer at dummy half. Runs from there. Runs through. Has got very close within half a metre. Cochrane. Hasler on the Gibbs. Gibbs is taken out of it by Kokas and Fraser. Cochrane, Hasler, Lyons, the grubber kick through, should be a try, it is. It's a try. Six to go, the referee signifies, didn't need to do it. The try was scored by Williams. And uh, Manley come up with another one. That's uh, 14 points they've scored now. See it again. And on the State Bank replay, the skipper, Paul Borton, should be wearing a big smile. It was his decision not to go for goal. When you're hot, you're hot. And Cliff Lyons has been in great form. Went for the kick. Unfortunately for Michael Beatty, you'll see that he tries to take the ball. The deflection puts all the Manly outside backs on side. They come up with the ball. And Darrell Williams, the man, picking up another try for Manly Warringah. Yes, that's uh, four tries in his last two games so far, or one and a half games. He's still got half a game to go here. Here's Cochran now to try to add the extras. 14 points to nil, they lead. And it fades away. Obviously, unless he's hooked, uh, unless he's uh, sliced that, there is a slight breeze from right to left. And uh, Manley now with a convincing lead, 14 points to nil. Bundle the kick off. Got right a Shearer. Shearer gets out to the quarter line. Wrong some dummies from dummy half and then goes for a couple of metres. They're just taking turns at the moment. On to Phil Daly. On the swivel. That's another seven or eight metres. He's come back to some sort of form today, Phil Daly. He needed to. He was down on form. I'm pleased to see for his sake. He puts a lot into his football. That ball went between Funnel's legs. He likes to run straight at the defence and he's beaten one. And that's a good charge. Giving the opportunity to uh, get his players back on side. Chris John's there. Submerged. Brian Johnston. Billy Johnson. Out to Philip Smith. He comes up to within 12 metres of the halfway line. Kokas. Noke. Running strongly. Turned into a front row forward, as I mentioned. Whether or not that'll suit him is, uh, is a matter for conjecture. He's not a player that I would have thought was... Uh, a very, very active player, and you've got to be fairly active all the time in the front row. It's a grafting sort of a position. There's uh, Ron Gibbs walking back a little bit slowly there. David, do you discern anything wrong with him? Yes, the trains were in a bit of a panic. One went out to examine him, and I think from what I overheard, they're a bit concerned about his jaw, Rex, but he was very rubber-legged about two or three minutes ago. Let's hope that uh, Ron Gibbs is OK for Manly's sake. Out to Ronson. Ronson swung round and swung to the ground there by Ricky Walford. Cleal. Shearer gets a towering kick downfield. It breaks to the right, goes to Chris Johns. He's tackled there by Michael O'Connor. Nine metres, he's on side of halfway. Kokas. Well, it looks like there is a manly replacement coming on, and we'll get a name from David. Peter Cullum's coming on in 22. Ron Gibbs is being replaced, going to the head bin so the doctor can examine him, Rex. Okay. 
Peter Callum coming out. Here's Michael Bleedy. He gets a pass back on the inside as to win. Wins up the sideline and a good spirited run put out there by Vaughton and Ronson. Walford. Kokas. Oh dear, oh dear. That pass went forward. And that one went to ground. Bit of panic in the St George uh, camp at the moment. Funnel. Out to Robinson. Oh, Robinson's made a break right through the middle of them. Got it on to Johnston, and Johnson's gone within an ace of scoring. Manley just hang off there. Very slow to recover. Funnel tried the little kick. The ball went to a Manley player. Now it's back with St George again. Greg Young at dummy half. Tried to go through himself there, no way. Johnson, Kokas, win. Upended by Ronnie Gibbs. Well, there's a quick picking try and a very good try. Everybody in the Manly side caught napping. Absolutely a sound asleep, no second line of defence, see it again and wonder. He's been on the wrong side of Michael Stone on two occasions, but excellent thinking by Graham Wynn. He's certainly going to be on the right side of his teammates in amazement. The markers in the Manly side look around. It's well within the law books. And Graham Wynn, after a couple of indiscretions, certainly got up and placed straight ahead and a try to St George. So simple. And it seems to me a fairly fundamental thing to have somebody at the, as the second line in those situations in the end goal area. Manly bereft of ideas. There's Ron Gibbs being led from the field midst cheers. He's going to get a, uh, an examination of his jaw. There is some possibility that he's got a, some damage to his jaw as Walford moves in. And there it is with a minute to go to half time. St George strike back, Manly 14, St George 6. Well, it's, it's going to give St off. George plenty of hope, Rex, and what they can do now, their forwards are starting to control play a lot better. Their forwards are starting to run stronger off the ruck, realising that they've got to go forward to create any opportunities out wide. They weren't trying to force the pass so much, Manly a little bit tired there, but it does certainly give Roy Masters and the Saints a little bit of hope at half-time. OK, so there's the half-time break, and at half-time, the Manly tries have come from Hasler and Williams. The goals, Cochran, three from four, that makes up their 14 points. St George's try just occurred at the last 60 seconds of play to Graham Wynn and Ricky Walford, one goal from two attempts. So there it is at half-time, 14-6, Manly Warringah leads St George. We'll be back with more action after this. Every week they're at it, never daring to let up. Because winning's the only thing that counts when you're playing for the Winfield Cup. It doesn't matter if you're famous or a youngster making his way. There's only one thing that matters, and that's how well you play. That's what the big game's all about. Giving it the best you can. Always be. Well, Mr. Stone has got the players back on the field now. Manly running from right to left. St. George going to receive the ball from the kickoff. St. George with a deficit uh, as we face it. 14 points to six. They scored their try in the last dying stages of the first half. Good quick thinking effort by Graham Wynn, which I'm still a bit uh, at a loss to know how the Manly side fell for it, but there it was. And Ron Gibbs is back on the field. He's been in the head bin. He's been examined. His uh, result is that he's got some uh, loose teeth, but uh, he's going to continue on. Funnel catches the kickoff and attempts to run it out. And he's just got to within about three or four metres of the quarter line. 
Very heavy tackling performance by St George in the first half, mainly dominating possession. Fullerton Smith, Fullerton Smith, as nearly always the case, leading the way for St, for St George on 15. But they also have to a lot of concentration in the second half to retaining possession of the ball. They can't kick on so many occasions to put any pressure on Manly. Possession, of course, just giving that around to Manly, who are playing so confidently with the ball. Billy Johnson running from dummy half, gets it on a Nope, Nope side, steps his way through, and a good run of about 18 metres. The last tackle coming up, they've just made it into the Manly quarter, into the Manly half. Funnel kicks downfield. The ball will go to Shearer, the fullback, and he knocks on. Well, that's a good start for St George. See that again? And a simple error by Dale Shearer, trying to pick it up on the run instead of going down on the ball and playing it safe. And an opportunity for St George, who certainly had no smell prior to half-time, except for that last dying try in the final stages to Graham. We're now an opportunity to kick off in the second half on the right leg. Brian Johnson going straight ahead there. He'll uh, get to his feet now. Out to Kokas on a funnel who's chimed into the three-quarter line. They're about 18 metres out from the Manly line onto Billy Johnson. Up the blind side goes Craig Young, gets it away there to Fraser, the lock forward who's playing it uh, in a very crowded area there. Johns loses the ball, it's taken by Manly, falls on it, Cochran. Ward's going to go away with it. He's gone about two metres around the side of the ruck. Shearer's at dummy half. And he runs from there, just still about 11, 12 metres out from their goal line. On to Phil Daly. That's a bit more sensible. A bit of a pirouette in the middle of that run. Cochran. Oh, Crusher Cleal did very well there to hold that. He uh, juggled the ball in his hands. Last tackle coming up. Cochran running from dummy half, kicks ahead, kicks into the open spaces. He's going to make it. Well, uh, Ricky Walford did very well to go down and take that neatly. Robinson running from dummy half. Hasler picks him up with a sort of a bulldogging tackle. Craig Young. Good run up the blind side of the ruck. A little bit of an in and away there. Johnson on a win. Went very close to being through. Got uh, through half of Borton's tackle, but the other half, the other leg was caught. On to Fullerton, to Fullerton Smith. And he's gone well. Last tackle coming. The kick at Crossfield. Be taken by Williams. It wasn't really a well-directed kick. And uh, he's tackled just inside his own quarter. On wet conditions, uh, it is so difficult when the ball's put on the deck. We saw it. Dale Shearer had uh, problems with that other kick uh, from Steve Funnel knocking the ball on. I'd like to see the St George inside backs, either Robinson or Kokas, when they decide to kick, especially inside the Manly quarter, put it all on the ground. Made an inroad of about 10 metres, played it badly. It's out to Lyons, Lyons to Shearer. Shearer with a cutout pass out to Vorton. Vorton gets a long cutout pass to Davis. Davis is up the sideline, he's going beautifully. Gets over the halfway, gets a pass back into Michael O'Connor. It's a kick and chase. He'll win the race. Will he? Will he? Will he? No! It's a try. He's awarded a try. We'll see that again from the head on on the replay. And we'll see whether it was. A great long ball on the State Bank replay by Paul Borden. Stuart Davis did tremendously well here to get ahead of Steve Robinson as he came across. And a great ball back inside to Mike O'Connor. As soon as he kicked, his mind must have turned back to Lang Park last Tuesday night. He was really winning the race for the ball. He looks across to Dale Shearer. Dale Shearer winning the race and a try. Yes. The touch judge was the man that Michael Stone looked at. Here was the great pass from Paul Borden. Cutting out Michael O'Connor, Davis running onto the ball. Plenty of long passes in the first half by Manly, but not to a man in a position to charge onto it like that. O'Connor, brilliant with those kick chips, uh, the chip kicks situation, and Dale Shearer showing how much pace he's got to outspeed his teammate Michael O'Connor and get there. Yes, well, it took a video replay to convince ourselves that it was a try, but again, referee Stone has come up with a very, very good decision. Uh, because uh, that was as near a thing as you could ever hope to see. But in our point, from our point of view, it was dead set a try. 
18 points to six. Manly Warringah leads St George with a kick at goal to follow. About 11 metres in from the sideline. And about uh, 20 metres out from the goal line. Breeze pretty minimal. Well, <laughs> he's come up with one that's squirted away to the right. We can't get any uh, idea of just uh, what was in his mind there. But anyway, 18 points to six. Manly lead. Taken by Shearer, the kickoff. Gonna try to bring it back. He gets to the quarter. Not a Gibbs. Very strong player, gets beyond the quarter. On a Cleal. Cleal through one tackle. Hasler. Lyons, the dummy, got a pass away to Williams, Williams drops the ball, Johnson falls on it. Out to Kokas, and Funnel, Funnel running strongly, it takes two men to put him down. Johnston, away to Craig Young, who's unseated there by Gibbs. Hasler lit there at Fraser. Gonna pass inside to win and win. Uh, Fraser's gone straight and hard and nearly made the uh, the bust. Johnson, Kokas, Robinson. The little kick being put down there. The ricochet went to Manly Warringah, but it's going to be a handover. It's done. Vaughton's away. Showing a clean pair of heels, made a break of about uh, 16 metres. Crusher Cleal running now. Hasler was out wide then, I thought Hasler would appear on his right shoulder as he always does. Lions, Hasler. Long pass to Cochrane, Cochrane's through! Gets a pass to Michael O'Connor, O'Connor's gliding up the ground. Get a pass back inside to Davis. Davis going strongly. Put to the ground about two metres out from the line. Now they're going to play it again. Michael O'Connor away to Lyons. Lyons goes straight and hard and held up. Whee. Certainly would have capped another strong game for Cliff Lyons. Sights the try line, but good defence right on the line by Final and also Chris Johns. Johnston. Funnel. Good swerve there. And all the skills this funnel. Johnston. Kokas. Robinson. Runs into Gibbs out there with Borton. Kokas. Billy Noak. Tackled right on the halfway line. Johnston. Pull up the Smith. Kokas. Johnston. Craig Young kicking for position and kicks very well. It's a gain of about 32 metres. Just uh, dropping inside the uh, the goal, the touchline. Fullback trying to get a pass away, couldn't do it. The tackle of Bort Walford on the win, win on the surge. Only about four metres out from the manly line. Johnson, Robinson, Fullerton Smith, Craig Young, Craig Young going for the line. He's been tackled about a metre short. Manly defence still holding. Kokas. Out to funnel, throws the dummy, tries to get a pass away, does get the pass away. Picked up there by Johnson. Johnson loses the ball forward, picked up by Hasler. Hasler goes away and makes a gain of about seven or eight yards. And again, the simple attitude said you can't win football games without the ball. Well, big 
Crush has gone up the sideline, got it into Davis. Davis is going up towards the halfway line. He's going very well. Tackled and swung to the ground 10 metres into their half. Cochran's at dummy half now. They've got a back line out there at the Hasler. Long cut out pass to Lyons. Lyons to, uh, to O'Connor. O'Connor out to Ronson. Ronson back on the inside to, to uh, O'Connor. Then on to Lyons. Lyons going straight and hard. Gets a pass away, which is forward. And it'll all come back. They certainly look smart when they search wide, Manly. Some great chain passing in the back line. The long ball from O'Connor out to Ronson. Takes the tackle of Walford back inside. She's their confident with the ball in the last month or so. In back play, uh, we saw uh, Brian Johnson and Darrell Williams having a dispute. But Lyons, an outstanding form recently, just couldn't control the last pass. The scrum won by St George. Kokas is tackled at the base of it. Ricky Walpole runs from the dummy half position. Out to Craig Young. Wind standing wide on the blind side. Well, there's another ball for Manly. The dregs they're picking up now. Morton falls on that one. Gibbs. Hasler looking, searching for an opening. There's a penalty to Manly. Hasler was doing his level best to stay out of trouble there. But uh, I think it was Fullerton Smith who was the man responsible. Well, it was interesting that I was watching Michael Stone. Now, he didn't rule on this first attempt at high tackle by Fullerton Smith. It was then that there was an elbow thrown by Des Hasler. The ball was lost in the play of the ball, and it forced Nick Stone to act. He certainly didn't take the option to give Manley the penalty from that swinging arm from Fullerton Smith. And the crowd is 12,041. Change of kicker now for Michael O'Connor. Malcolm Cochran astray with his last few attempts. A hooked one out to the left and also slicing one to the right. 18 points to six, Manly lead. Michael O'Connor, the change of kickers. And the change works the Oracle, Manly 20. St George 6 and Michael O'Connor is back in action for Manly Warringah well Ward did marvellously well to take that short kick very well to Cleal Cleal surges ahead and crawls a bit along the ground on to Phil Daly Gets a pass away to Cochran, who's swerving and weaving, trying to uh, get ahead. We've got a couple of changes out there on the St George side, uh, David. Well, Roy Masters has uh, had three players warming up on the touchline. The halves, Bronco de Jura and Steve Lenane in 19 to 20 from the reserve grade side. And also Jeff Selby in number 22. All three players warming up and ready to make their impact on this game. Here it is, another opportunity this time. The man going high wild. Now I've seen plenty of tackles high lately that haven't uh, earned anybody a dismissal. Graham Wynn is the man involved. I thought again that originally Michael Stone was going to let play go on. The crowd certainly leapt to their feet. And for the third or fourth time in this game, Graham Wynn finds himself having a chat to Michael Stone. The change is made now as we see Steve Robinson, Mark Kokas leaving the field along with Colin Fraser. There's no doubt Wiley certainly hasn't taken the action. The sin bin as a penalty goes to Manley. But the advantage for Manley ring at the mine right throughout this game has been in the halves where Des Hasler and Cliff Lyons were far too smart for both Robinson and Kokas. The kick by Shearer finds touch just inside the quarter. Now Cochran takes the tap. The Lions on a ward. I can't recollect a mistake that Ward's made today. On a daily, running slightly diagonally. Cochrane, Hasler, Lions beautifully pulled in.
Oliver Shearer got hit very, very hard there, and the ball ricocheted out. Battle tackled beautifully by Williams. Craig Young got a pass on the win, and the pass was forward. Little doubt about that. Frank Young certainly wanting to argue, a bit of frustration maybe setting in, but the pass was forward. Well, in and out, that was Lanayne to Jura. To funnel the fullback who's tried to make an inroad, got a pass away there. It's going nicely as Johnson. He's five metres from the halfway line. Rocco Jura straightens it up, gets a pass away. Out to Billy Johnson. Out to Wal Walford. Ricky Walford uh, bobbing up all over the field now. Out to Craig Young. Back on the inside, the pass gone to ground. I think it's Manley's ball. No, he's going to put a scrum down. Well, the scrum goes down. It'll be a Manly feed. Fifteen minutes to go. Twenty points to six. Manly lead. Well, Hasler there was tackled by somebody lying on the ground and uh, he couldn't get himself free. Crusher Cleal on the surge, going strongly. That's a great run. He's come to life, the, uh, the bearded man. That was a strong, bullocking run. Out to Hasler. Lyons. Gibbs back on the inside. Can't get his arms free, still ploughing forward. Lyons. Picked up by Cleal. Cleal knocks it backwards for Lyons. Lyons to O'Connor. O'Connor to Davis. Play on. Six to go. Back to Lyons on the inside. Get it away to Cochran. Cochran's uh, trying to go back inside. He's done that. He's got inside the corner. He's going for the line. Looks for a pass out there. It'll go to Ward. Ward can't handle it. <laughs> that would have been a beauty if Ward could have come up with a try for a Manly. Uh, that's the first time he's seen himself in that situation. The try was certainly on. A big second half from Malcolm Cochran. He propped him through a number of dummies. He finally looked out wide for Kevin Ward, who couldn't control the ball. He only had to offload to Dale Shear. It was going to be a try, but for mine, right back when the movement started, the ball certainly went forward from Michael O'Connor to Stuart Davis. Scrum going down. It goes out to uh, the St George side. Funnels in there. Making an inroad up the blind side. Now Ricky Walford. He's running very well. Gets towards the halfway line. Leave him, leave him, leave him. Lenane. Jura. Jura falls as he comes to the defence. Out to Craig Young. Got a pass away to Johnson. Johnson out to Selby. Selby goes in the knees as soon as he's tackled by Williams. That pass looked forward. The referee standing back couldn't see that. Gibbs down in back play at the moment. There's a high bomb being put up. says it's going to be knock on back here. St. George resorting to the bomb. They haven't been able to clearly make the break and the ball was knocked forward by a St. George player. Yes, I think there's another change coming up in the Manly uh, dress uh, in the Manly side, uh, David. Yes, Peter Cullen, the man that replaced Ron Gibbs in the first half is coming on. Gibbs in a fair bit of pain back towards the halfway line. Yes, I believe he's got a cramp uh, in that same leg. Uh, and he's walking like a man with an iron foot at the moment. Peter Cullen will come on. He's getting a hero's response here. Just listen to the crowd. Well, he certainly deserves it. He's been one of the form forwards of the Winfield Cup right throughout the season. 
Great performer for Manly and becoming somewhat of a try scoring second row as well as his feats in the defensive line. Well, now Lyons has made a great big circular run round the back of the defence and tried to make an inroad somewhere else. He made some sort of a, a gain, but he didn't uh, get through. The kick has been put down to Johns's wing. Johns will attempt to bring it back. Yes, I suspected it was a severe cramp, and I believe that's what it is, David. It certainly is. Uh, the trainer said that he's absolutely exhausted and severe cramp, but uh, what a mighty game he's had. Craig Young, long pass. Out to Bronco Dura. Former South Sydney player. Been locked in reserve grade of late. Lenane, the kick ahead. Paul Shaw, reserve grade halfback, takes it. Shearer runs up the blind side and makes it to the quarter line. Steve Davis, now Cochrane. Using Crusher Cleal again up the blind side. Shearer powers that downfield, taken by Funnel. Oi! Dropped it behind him, pulled it uh, in one handed. Oh, beautiful pass. He got a right to Wiki Wolford. Wolford's upfield. He'll make a, a mess of this if, he's, if we're not cleaning it up pretty smartly. On to Fafita. Fafita taken out of it. That was Cullum, the last tackler. De Jura. Long cutout pass to Walford. They're moving it around now all over the place. Selby gets a pass on to Brocco Jura, and he's within half a metre of the line. Lenane, Craig Young, Fafita. Good defence there by Williams. Lenane. Brian Johnston. Stopped and started there. Johns. Little kick through by Lenane. And the penalty has gone to St George. Arguable the interference caused or the leg going out from Cullum. And he was taken out of the play, Steve Lenane. But again, St George coming up with bits from broken play, but when it comes to the business end, only metres out from the line, the defensive man, he's been excellent. Wynn trying to search his way around the blind side there to get number two, but uh, Manly are awake to him this time. Manly players have got to get back to the goal line. Picked up by Shaw. A little knock on there by Lenane, concentrating on trying to give the pass before he had it in his hands. Gately, away to Ward. Strong as a lion, this fella. Shearer, Williams, bursting onto that ball on the right-hand side of the ruck. Cullum, got a pass away, it's gone to ground. Six to go. Cochran fell on it. Lions went straight through Shearer. Picked up by Clusher Cleal. He's broken free from that. He's got some momentum up now, I'll tell you. Beautiful pass to Michael O'Connor. Gets it away there to Ronson. Ronson comes back midfield. 20 points to six. Lions, Vaughton, Shaw. Shaw drops the ball forward. It's picked up by St George. That's Johns. And there's the header in the background. The Manly have come up winners by 20 points to six. The scorers for the Manly side have been Hasler, Williams and Shearer. Cochran three goals from six attempts. O'Connor one from one. St George, they're trying to win their goal to Walford. 20 points to six. Let's go to all the highlights of the only other.